What's going on everyone? Welcome back, Patrick here. And in this video, we got to show the function one over x plus two is not differentiable at an x value of negative two. And this case is actually going to be really simple. It's going to be a quicker video than the other cases. And one over x plus two, if we graph that, notice it's just one over x, the rational function, the parent rational function shifted by two to the left. So now instead of that vertical asymptote being at zero, it's going to be at negative two, like that. And so it's going to look like this. And so just from looking at the graph, it's obvious to tell that this function isn't going to be differentiable at that x value of negative two because this function doesn't exist at that x value. There's a vertical asymptote there. And so the reason for this is because of an infinite discontinuity. Now, if we were to show what the difference quotient, remember to show a function is not differentiable, we basically have to show that this limit here, the definition of a derivative doesn't exist. Well, if we plug in these parameters, what we'll have is the limit as h approaches 0 of f of negative 2 plus h minus f of negative 2 all over h. If we plug in these values for, um, for this function, notice what's going to happen. We'll have the limit as h approaches 0. Negative 2 plus h, if we plug it in for the x value, we'll have 1 over um, negative 2 plus h plus 2, right? We plug it in negative 2 plus h for this x value. But then notice this f of negative 2, undefined, right? There's no value for this. And so if this here is undefined or doesn't exist, then it means that this limit doesn't exist. Okay, and you can just mention that at that x value of negative 2, there is a vertical asymptote. Okay, or there's an infinite discontinuity. So pretty simple. We don't even have to do any algebra. It's just this part of this whole limit is undefined, so it makes the, uh, the whole limit uh, undefined or non-existent. So if you remember, in the case where we talked about a corner, I said that differentiability implies continuity. Okay, so for a function to have a derivative at a certain x value, it has to be continuous at that x value. And so because this function isn't continuous at this x value, it's not differentiable there. And remember that the reverse of this is not true. So continuity, just want to restate this again, continuity does not imply differentiability. Okay, so just because a function is continuous, it doesn't mean it's going to be differentiable. We did a bunch of cases with that so far. We, uh, we showed that with corners, cusps, vertical tangents, right? Functions that were continuous but not differentiable. Right? So continuity does not imply differentiability. However, differentiability does imply continuity. Okay, so for a function to be differentiable, it has to be continuous at that point. And notice here, it's not continuous. And more specifically, it has an infinite discontinuity.